everybody, this is Jamer Gaminator. I wanted to give you guys an updated review on the Dotex typewriter mechanical keyboard since I've had it for a while now. Let's talk about the pricing first. This keyboard is constantly on sale for $99. It says that the real price is $125, but I have not actually seen it as anything but $99. So it isn't too expensive, but in my opinion, it's not worth it which I'll explain later in greater detail. Every time you start up your computer, your keyboard will start up in this way, no matter if you have previously changed the pattern of the lighting on this keyboard um, during prior uses, it will always start up this way, and it will always go back to this uh, pattern where all of the lights are on. The keyboard does not remember what pattern you had it set as last um, before you turned off your computer. So every single time that you start up your computer, your keyboard's going to be set to this pattern, which is just all the lights being on. So if there's a specific pattern that you like, you're going to have to change it back to that every single time, which it's easy to do, but it does get annoying. The keys are flat, um, there is no elevation between them, but as with any keyboard, you do have a stand that you could uh, flip up so that it won't be so flat and it's easier to type on. One suspicious thing about this keyboard is that it doesn't have Dotec written on it, it has Cool Killer written on it. I don't know what cool killer it is, but that certainly does not say Dotec. <laughs> this is how the keyboard sounds when you type. To change the pattern of the lights, press function and insert at the same time. This is one of the light display patterns that you can have. To reduce the speed of the wave, you could press function and then the left arrow. And to increase the speed, do the opposite. Press function, the right arrow. And there's my kitty. He likes the keyboard. And here is another pattern. And another one. If you guys like my cat, he has his own channel called Sir Reacts, and the link is in the description. Here is another pattern. And here is another pattern that also displays when you start up your computer. And another pattern. And another. Personally, this one's my favorite. Here's another. And this is the pattern that you result in after the initial display pattern when you start up your computer. And another. You can also change the brightness of the lights by pressing function and the up and down arrow keys. Also set specific keys that you want lit up um, by your own choosing by pressing function and zero and function and home and then you could select the keys that you want lit up.
can save this pattern by pressing function and end. Now every time that you press function and zero, this pattern will appear. Function one through nine all have their own specific keys that are lit up. You cannot change these, but I guess if you like their patterns, then you could use them. Personally, I don't care for them. This is what the keyboard caps look like. And this is what the keys look like under the keyboard caps. In addition to your keyboard, they also include a separate set of keyboard caps that aren't typewriter-like. So just in case you end up hating the typewriter keys, you know, you didn't waste $99 if you like how this looks. I do not suggest changing these keys unless you're 100% sure that you hate the typewriter keys. These new keys are really difficult to get off and they hurt to get off. These keys also do not have a flat layout. As you can see, there's some curve to the keys. So if that makes it easier for you to type, then the flat layout of the typewriter keyboard isn't what you have to have. Now the feel of this keyboard is fine for me. The keys are totally fine uh, with me. Um, although it does seem like you have to reach a little bit more because the keys seem wider in my opinion. Um, if you are very sensitive to how your keys feel, you'll absolutely hate this. You'll probably like it with the spare caps, but if you're buying this keyboard, you're buying it for the typewriter look. You could get a better looking keyboard without a typewriter look for much cheaper. Now on to why I do not recommend buying this keyboard. Well, I do recommend it if you enjoy the colors, but for me, I personally hate the colors. They remind me of Legos or some children's toy. And I'd be fine if it was all just one color. I mean, I hate the color orange, but I'd be glad if this color was just orange or anything but this color combination. It just looks cheap, in my opinion. Now, if you feel differently, then that's awesome for you. This is a great keyboard for you. I got this keyboard because I love typewriters and I love the keys. I love the font that they use too. One problem that I see with a whole bunch of other typewriter keys is that they tried to go modern with the font. Why? You're already halfway to that vintage look. Why not go full way with the font? And that's what this company does do good with their caps. Um, but those colors, they just irk me. I thought that I would be able to get over it and get used to the colors, but no, I can't stand the colors. So if you do like the typewriter look, but hate the colors like how I do, then try to find maybe some keycaps that you could put on a keyboard that you do like, or just wait until there is that perfect keyboard but I wouldn't go spending $100 on this thing. You could get much better keyboards for way less. I'd be fine if I could just keep the lights off. I like how it looks with the lights off, but the fact that I would have to keep changing the display every single time I turn on my computer is just really, really annoying. <laughs> also, I hope the cat hair in between the keys didn't bother you too much in this video. Oh, and they also include four blank typewriter keys. If you find a need for these, I guess good. Or if you're a mystery lover and don't want to know what key you're pressing, then perfect. I hope that this video has helped you decide whether or not this is a purchase for you. If you have any questions, please comment them below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!